We're here for another Coach's Corner with head men's ice hockey coach Stephen Morrell. Coach, a couple of weeks now into the season, describe how the team has done so far and how they have met your expectations for the year. Yeah, I think we've done a pretty good job. We've been in uh, a lot of games. I mean, besides the Elmira game, I think really a lot of power play in that game. But really the game we've played, we've been in. We've done really well. We've done a good job. Uh, guys are starting to get back healthy, and the uh, team's looking good this week. So we're looking forward to an exciting weekend. And now, you guys don't have to travel for the rest of the semester with four home games the next two weekends, starting this weekend on Friday night against Welch. Talk about the Colonels and what it's going to take to take down our cross-town rivals. Yeah, I think, you know, they've done a great job with their program. Obviously, last year they had a big year, and this year it looks like they're off to a really good start again. Uh, I think just com uh, competing, competition, guys working hard. I think whoever works hard and uh, competes in the game Friday night is going to come out with a win. I mean, they're a resilient team. They have been down, uh, as you mentioned, in a lot of games, and they come back and, and they compete. Um, start of the game, drop the puck to the last whistle. So uh, for us to come out, and you know, obviously hopefully we have a big crowd this Friday and it'll be exciting and a good atmosphere, cross-town rivals. I mean, what's better than that in college hockey? So we're looking forward to it. And then on Saturday night, you guys are home again against Brent Athens. Talk about what your non-conference foes have given you trouble with the past couple years. Yeah, I think, you know, there's a lot of you know, parity in D3 where every team's good. Uh, you know, like, if you look at the standings every week, some of the teams that we're playing this year have already moved up uh, in the top, top three in the country. And like I say, it's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. So, you know, every uh, non-conference game is important for us. It's just another step in the right direction to continue to get better and, and realize there's a lot of good teams and a lot of good players out there. And to get to that level, we need to be able to compete against everyone in the country. And now lastly, your team announced a Movember campaign earlier this week. Just talk about that and what people can do to donate. Yeah, so we uh, decided, you know, I think last year everyone kind of gets the hype of Movember with the mustaches and it's cool to see uh, the hockey community come together, especially it's kind of a big piece to see it, you know, from the top level in the NHL through Division One, through Division Three. Um, you know, cancer touches everybody and I think uh, the more we can bring awareness and the hockey community is so tight, it just helps out. It's, you know, it's mental health, it's prostate cancer, it's testicular cancer, and just overall just the support um, you know, in, in men's athletics is important. And we decided to uh, build a website. You can go online uh, and donate to our team. Uh, Coach Grace really kind of put that together and we'd love to see some donations. We, we had uh, you guys write an article quickly online and there's a link on there. You can find it on social media. Uh, but like I mentioned, it, everybody is a piece of it. Uh, the more we can raise awareness, the better it off we'll be. And you can see from the website and learn a little bit more about it and how important that is and how big the campaign is for November. All right, that is all the time that we have for today. Thank you and good luck this weekend. Thanks.